Hi guys, in this quick fire tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how you can lock your transforms so that you can prevent unintentional editing. To lock a transform, you can open up the side panel by pressing the N key. For each of the transforms, you can access the value on the X, Y and Z axes. And next to each value is an open lock icon. This indicates that you currently have the ability to edit these specific channels. For example, we can lock the X axis for our location. And you can see the icon locks. Now, if I go to the move tool, you will notice that the red arrow, which we typically see is missing. If I unlock the location, our red arrow returns. So by locking our transform here in the side panel, we prevent our objects from being manipulated on the X axis with regards to the location. This will also apply to our hotkey. So if I press the G key to move my object, you can see that we are moving the object on the Y and C axes. I've not locked it to the X plane, which is what you would normally expect from this kind of behavior. Rather, Blender is just preventing me from moving the object on the X axis because I have locked that transform. This will also apply even if I was to press the X key on my keyboard. As you can see, as I move my cursor, my object stays in place because I've locked that transform. If I press Y to go into the Y axis though, it operates as normal because this channel has not been locked. We can lock as many of these channels as we want to prevent editing of those transforms or the channels of those transforms. However, there is one area within Blender where the locking of transforms does not apply. And believe it or not, that is in the side panel itself. So let's go back to our X location, or rather let's try a different one. Let's go with our C rotation and lock it. Now, if I press the R key, we can rotate on two of the three axes. The same applies with regards to the rotate tool. We have access here to our blue curved line. However, if we click and drag, it has no effect on our model. But if we were to go into the side panel itself, click and drag, you would see that we are still able to rotate within the side panel. The reason why is because it's far less likely for you to unintentionally edit the values within the side panel than it is using the rotate tool or the rotate hotkey. This is how we can lock our transforms in Blender. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in learning more about Blender, then check out the link in the description below. This will take you to the Blender Bootcamp, which is our own library filled with Blender learning resources such as classes, full courses, further tutorials, workshops and more. Check out the link in the video description and gain access to all of these resources for free for a 30 day trial period.